morning everybody. I tried doing this last Monday and I hated the way the video turned out so I'm gonna try it again this Monday and hopefully it will get uploaded. So I'm just going to do this little chit chat get ready with me. This is Monday morning. Um, wash my face. Now I'm putting my moisturizer on. I'm just gonna do a simple light foundation um, powder look. I ran out of moisturizer so I just have moisturizer in my little sample jar. But I am using the mattifying oil free um, moisturizer from Merle Norman. It is the only moisturizer I have found that I can just actually control my oil with and not be shiny all day long. <laughs> Um, I'm also drinking my green tea. I've been obsessed with it. Hot green tea ever since I did the AgroCare um, in January. I used to be a big coffee drinker. And I still drink coffee when I need to pick me up. But I used to be a morning coffee drinker. And um, I just, it's kind of been too harsh for me ever since I've done the um, AgroCare diet. The cleanse, you can't have... Um, a lot of stuff and it really really did cleanse my body sorry about my lighting my husband bought me a ring light and I'm trying to use it like I need it to do my makeup but filming today it's almost too bright um, oh and I just put on some fine line minimizer um, next we're gonna go on to the brows I've been playing around with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Um, I like the color the best. Um, I usually use the Merle Norman Brow Definer Pencil. And um, I wish they had an in-between state, an in-between color. Um, I had been using Soft Brown. And um, once I went back to my natural black hair color, it kind of was like too brown, not black enough. But the soft black is too black. And when I mix the two, it's just, um, the color is just not great. Okay, so I'm going to try this without the ring light and see how it does. Already got my moisturizer on. I always like to do my brows next. Um, like I said, I'm trying the Anastasia dip brow pomade and this is in ash brown um, I had been using browns like light browns and dark browns um, whoops um, but when I went back to my naturally black hair it just didn't um, look right didn't match as well um, so, a little catch up. I have been off social media um, during Lent season, or during Lent. Um, I stayed off Twitter the whole time. And I have used Facebook a little bit. Um, I use it a lot for my businesses, but my personal account I've only used a little bit. Um, um, another thing I gave up for Lent, um, which I have a big um, problem with. Not a problem giving it up, but a problem with it in my life, so that is why I gave it up. Um, I gave up worry, stress, and fear. I stress about pretty much everything and I literally have got to learn to let go and know things that know that things are not in my control um, I just I worry about pretty much every single thing you could think about and letting it go 
has been really nice to be honest with you. I'm gonna have to clean up that tail. Looks a little yucky. Let's clean that up here in just a minute. Actually wanna lighten it, brush it up a little bit, and then I'll clean up that hair in just in a little bit. Um <clears throat> Easter is coming up soon, which I can get to talking and I forget what I need to do. I always like to even it out on my brush after I dip it in. I think that's why my other tail was messing up. Um, so yeah, Easter is not this weekend, but next weekend. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I've got family that's coming from California who I haven't seen in a few years on my mom's side. So I'm pretty excited to see them for Easter. Um, a few weeks ago, well, I guess not a few weeks, not this weekend, but last weekend had the army ball it's so my first Army Ball. I'd been to a couple Marine Corps balls with my husband and we had a really good time. So this is my first um, Army Ball. It was pretty cool to see the different traditions um, compared to the Marine Corps Ball. Um, the ceremony was pretty cool. I would have to say that I think I like the Marine Corps ball better. Um, but the Army ball was fun. This year's was at the Anheuser-Busch Brewery in St. Louis. And if you follow me on um, Snapchat, Snapchat or Instagram, um, you would have seen all my pictures on Snapchat during the event and then if you want to see them um, just go to my Instagram they're on there I got to dress up I was pretty excited um, had just a plain form-fitting black dress with rhinestones on the side I was really worried about showing my tattoos um, to basically all of Justin's friends but nobody said a word. Everybody had tattoos. I think I definitely had the most on one arm. Everybody had like one here and there. And my eyebrows are looking a little different. And hang out. This one arches up higher than this one. <sighs> but remember, my friends, your eyebrows are not twins. They are sisters. And right now, mine are looking like half sisters. <clears throat> um... We had a really good sit down dinner. It was buffet style. Um, you had your choice of steak, ravioli, and chicken. I really liked the steak and I liked the ravioli. The chicken tasted like frozen chicken. It had just like this really bitter like aftertaste. So I took one bite of it and it was I was like, mm, no, that's enough. <clears throat> um, I got to meet. All of Justin's, um, not all, but I got to meet a lot of the guys in the sniper platoon that he's in, and um, their wives, they're all gorgeous, they're all very nice and welcoming. Um, we got there at like 3.45 in the afternoon, not to St. Louis, but to the actual brewery. Um, we got to our hotel probably about 1.30ish, so I only had about an hour, or no, we got to our hotel about 2, a little after 2, so I didn't have as long as I thought I was going to have to get ready. Um, now I'm just using the same brush, I cleaned it off, um, I'm going in with a little bit, bit of concealer that I just stuck on my arm so I can clean up this tail, it is looking all wango chango and lumpy and sideways and I don't like it. Um, we went on the brewery tour, got to see the stables of the Clydesdales. Actually, let me, let me backtrack. Um, 
saw Clydesdale as we were coming in. And let me tell you, those things are ginormous. Then when we went on the brewery tour, we got to see their stables. Holy crap, they are huge. Um, right now you can see I'm just feathering the concealer down now so it doesn't look like there's like this crazy concealer line there. Just kind of want to blend it out. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one too. Just so it looks a little bit cool. What else? It's kind of a rainy blah day so I don't feel as talkative as I usually am. This weekend was... Um really fun it was my friend slash co-workers birthday Joanna I'm hoping to get her on here I want to do the being boozled challenge with her and maybe the whisper challenge with her she is a blast in a glass let me tell you so I can't wait for you guys to meet her um, <clears throat> but we took her and uh, one of my other friends Darian it was their birthday. Darian's birthday was a couple weeks ago, and Joanna's was this Saturday. So we took them to the wineries down in Carbondale. I need some chapstick, sorry. Uh, I like the EOS in the tube. I don't like it in the little ball. Um, um, oh, I have been trying this post shave, um, post shave balm, and since sensitive from Nivea. It's in the men's section. Um, I got it from a couple of YouTubers who have been using it and loving it. Um, I love the smell of it, but they're using it as like a, a primer essence. I love the way it smells and you just work it in until it's really tacky. And that's when you know you're ready to put your foundation on. I like the lighting without the ring light. I think I need to get like a, a diffuser for it, but I don't like how this lighting goes in and out. Alright. Nice and tacky. Today I'm just going to use some Royal Norman CC Cream. I'm using it in the medium bisque. I am going to use my fingers to apply it. It is a little light for me, but I love the coverage. I'm just going to darken it up with some ultra powder and tan that I have from Merle Norman as well. And then I'm going to lightly, actually, no, I'm going to, um, going to use the mineral powder in the ML44 and then I will, um, then I'll use the ultra powder just in my oily areas because my nose and T-zone can get so oily. My spray tan is like splotchy right there. <sighs> then I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to use my finger today. Just to kind of blend that out. Like underneath there. I'm not going to use a bunch of it because I'm not trying to um, <coughs> highlight too crazy. tell you with this time change I am tired I couldn't sleep last night I worked outside in the yard yesterday and then with the time time change we lost an hour so then when it was like 9 30 10 o'clock when I usually go to bed it was really only but my body is used to being eight o'clock, so then I tossed and turned. Um, so yeah, I ended up just tossing and turning all night. That was a no bueno. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my 
concealer in my CC cream with a little bit of mineral powder. It's in the ML44. Just using my powder brush. I do have oily skin, so I do like to put a little bit of uh, powder on my eyelids. And I am generous with this mineral powder, let me tell you. I usually use it in the loose compact, or I usually use it in the loose form. Um, but they sent me the wrong type and instead of sending it back I'm gonna go ahead and use it and try it. I've not usually used it in the press before. Isn't it crazy how much a little bit of CC cream and a little bit of powder can really tone up that complexion. I haven't tanned in a tanning bed in years. So I've been spray tanning and I didn't really take care of this one. So as you can see right here, it's getting a little splotchy. I need to exfoliate and get it redone so it doesn't look as bad. Okay, moving on. Um, we're just gonna do a natural eye today, I think. So I'm gonna go in with, it's called Make a Toast with my blending brush. I'm just gonna put it in my crease and blend it down on both eyes. I think I'm just gonna do lashes today and not liner. So it's kind of a cheating way of do a little bit of mascara and then put my lashes on. And kind of give it the illusion that I'm wearing eyeliner. I've really been into this natural look on days that I don't work. Something quick and easy. I've got to work on getting my tax stuff ready to today. I started last week. <sighs> it's never any fun. I stay pretty organized during the year, but when it comes time to getting it together, I should be a little more organized during the year need to be my resolution next year is to stay on top of my taxes. Okay, so we just got a little bit of color in the crease. A little bit of color in the crease. I do like to clean my brushes as I go. That's why I keep my makeup eraser right beside me. Um, I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of primed on the bottom with my flat brush. I'll pop it up there are chirping today and it's so relaxing. Now if the sun would be out, it would make me want to get outside even quicker. Because girl, let me tell you, guys and girls, let me tell you, I was outside working my ass off in the yard. Now I just got to get my backyard done and I'll be good for a little bit. Which we know yard work is never done. It's like weeds come out of everywhere. It's just crazy. Um, now we need with some bronzer really quick because I noticed on camera that I have no cheeks. I look like a little chunky monkey. It's going in with beach side. Oh look, now I have a cheek. No cheek, have a cheek, no cheek. I'm a fan of bronzers. Bronze everywhere. Wish that blemish was not there. I'm sorry for the hideous blemish on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up here because I have no idea how I'm gonna do my hair today. I may end up, end up just pulling it up in a high bun. A little down here, a little here. <clears throat> um, one of my favorite YouTubers is Jacqueline Hill and she's got this really um, pretty um, highlighter. She was, um, she did a collab with Becca Cosmetics and so I'm actually gonna use this highlighter kind of everywhere. I'm gonna highlight here, here, 
Um, I'm oily skinned, like I've said a million gazillion times, so I don't need to do my nose like everybody else does. But I am going to do the top of the lip, because I really like the way that looks once you get your lipstick on. Then, switching brushes, I'm going to go back to the flat brush. I want to put a little bit on my eyes on the bottom to make it more shimmery. Gives that color. Just more of a highlighted, beachy look, in my opinion, anyway. Okay, so we are going to curl the lashes and do mascara. Um, on the video that I did last month, I was telling you, um, I'm getting ready to use the Perversion Mascara. I got it because one of my friends got it in her Etsy bag, and she just, she's got pretty awesome eyelashes. I was like, oh, I want to try that because, like, my all-time favorite is the Wicked Lash from Merle Norman. But she said she kind of liked this better. Um, for me, I don't. Um, for some reason... My eyelashes must not be as awesome as hers because it separates my lashes so bad. Um, a liquid lash really just keeps them not so spidery looking. It keeps them um, together. I don't know. It makes me look like I'm wearing false lashes when I'm not wearing false lashes. And this perversion does not. Um, <clears throat> But I am going to be doing a comparison video for everyone, um, compared some products I have bought, compare them, look at that, see that, the eyelash, I'm the worst luck with lashes, the natural lashes, now you know why I wear falsies, because my real lashes are not great at all. I tried eyelash extensions before and it was horrible. I ended up taking them off and I was bald for a long time. I'll never ever do that again. And it's like ever since then my own lashes are just horrible. Like look at that. Can't hardly even tell there. Look they're just everywhere. I don't like the way it spider webs them out is like what I like to say. <clears throat> um. Somebody has also asked me to do a video on how I do my false lashes. So that's on my list to do as well. Those top lashes look pretty good. Naturally, as my bottom lashes. I have the chamber dinner tonight. I'm so excited. Um, I am on my local chamber board and this is my first chamber dinner as a well my first chamber dinner at all um, my husband and I are going and then my um, co-worker um, and her husband she also has a YouTube channel um, they're going with us I'm pretty excited um, about tonight um, so yeah let me go get my lashes I'll be right back these are just where did I, get these? I think these I got these from the dollar store since I wear them a lot only for special events do I usually use like my velour lashes, um, but for everyday use I like to get the cheap ones from Walmart because I do cut them to um, <clears throat> fit my eyes and I'll wear them five or six times and then I have to throw them away. So um, the velour lashes do last longer, but I don't wear them every day because they're a little more dramatic. I like these to look a little more natural. So what I do is I put the glue on and I wait, the trick is to wait like 30 seconds. I just recently started using tweezers to get them on uh, um, a few other youtubers that I watch use them so I was like I'm gonna try that out let's see if it really is easier and I can get them a little more precise than what I normally do when just using my fingers like on the line and I do have pretty long nails which you can see I have one broken I was gonna get it fixed yesterday when I went grocery shopping and I completely forgot about it and I don't think any of the nail salons in my town are open on my day look at that 
look how much better that looks. Now you know why I wear false blasters pretty much every day. Um, let's see what else. Um, I would like to do a Q&A. I did see a couple of YouTubers do that, but I don't know if I have enough followers to do that or enough Instagram followers to do, to post a Q&A. So I gotta keep doing videos for everybody to get to know me. Um, <clears throat> I have quite a few on my list and I try to do a new video every Monday. I know I've been slacking, but like I said, I've kind of been busy. Um, yeah. What else can we talk about? My eyebrow looks so funky. Let me fix that with my broken nail. Um, is everybody ready for Easter? Do you have an Easter dress? Oh, one thing I'm going to do is do a video tour of my new boutique. We moved locations. It's pretty awesome. Um, the building is bigger. And we're looking for stuff now. I will just be wearing this makeup tonight to the chamber dinner. See how much better my lashes look with falsies? I mean, like, my natural ones just suck. Does anybody else have that problem? It's just no fun. I could just sleep with these, wake up with these. But you girls that have amazing, that were blessed with lashes, like, oh, girls like me envy you because look at this. I have to spend an extra few minutes in the morning putting my lashes on. But the good thing is, is they will last. Um, So, must be really warm outside, I just heard a motorcycle. I am going to keep my lips nude. I am using the Merle Norman Liquid Lip Color. It's my go-to color. I love them and this is happily ever after. I've mentioned it in a, several of my videos. I do need to do a fe uh, February favorites, but I used a lot of the same things. So I feel like I'd be repeating my January favorites. Um, and that's kind of boring. Uh, I'm pretty excited that it's spring. I do want to get some new backgrounds for my YouTube videos because this stuff right here, that's like, that's my filing cabinet. Do you guys like that? You like how I file? I want to try to overline my lips one day too. I should do that on video, on camera, so you guys can laugh with me. My lips are pretty big already. Could you imagine if I overdrew that? I love the way Manny MUA um, overdraws his lips. They just look gorgeous. So yeah, there it is. Um, I'm done. I just have to go get dressed. Now I'm having the worst luck with these. There we go. Get dressed to start my day. Things are atrocious. I have to flatten those out. So yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great Monday. Bye, guys.